Hello, it's Monday, December 18th, 2023. And we are doing some maintenance on my diesel heater. So the fuel filter is dirty. And we are gonna change this little guy out right now. And it's a little bit of a procedure because uh, we are above the fuel level in the tank. So as soon as I open this, it's gonna suck air in. And besides that, uh, I wanna get all the air out of the filter which I'll show you that in a minute, but we have to disconnect this filter, put the new filter in, and then we're gonna draw a siphon through here into a hose, which I will connect back here, I guess. And um, we're gonna let that siphon run until all the air bubbles come out of the filter and through the siphon hose and into this little uh, bottle that I've got. And then, um, the be you know, it's not gonna purge that filter out completely because the fluid's gonna be coming down. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna hold the um, bottle up above this level so it'll backflow and it'll push the, all the air out of the filter and out of the lines that way. So uh, here we go. Here's the one I just took out. And uh, see, it's got like a clean side and a dirty side. That, I believe, is uh, that uh, bacteria stuff that grows in diesel fuel. I had a bit of a problem with that. I've been using the uh, algicide stuff. But here's a new one. So let's get that thing. Uh, put in. All right, I got a siphon going and we're going to keep on going until we get a few ounces of fuel in this container. All the bubbles are out of the hose. All right, I can't let go of that or it's going to dump over. Let me see if I can crawl underneath and show you what's happening here. So in order to get the air out, you get a backflow, which I'm getting ready to do right now. <clears throat> what I'm going to do is elevate this up here and let it flow back in. And we're going back in now. All right, you see there? The uh, filter is completely full of fuel now. <laughs> okay, I had a little bit of a mishap. The end of the hose came out of the bottle and I was spilling some, but we're fine. It, everything is still good. The filter is still full of fuel. And uh, I didn't have the right size hose, so this ended up being just a small piece of wire insulation that I was able to uh, put in between the hose and the uh, siphon hose. And that worked, thank goodness. So now I'm gonna get a pair of pliers and I'm gonna squeeze this hose so it won't backflow. And then I can disconnect this real quick and stick it in there. Well, we're all done down here. Just a tiny little bubble in the filter and that's fine. We're all done here. It'd have been better if I had some real hose clamps, but I don't, so tie wraps, zip ties is gonna be it. And here's a better look at the filter, not in the sunlight. The old filter, that is. And I'm glad I changed it.